All right, Leo, it is going to be a month to remember. So you are going to want to pay attention to this forecast and understand exactly how to use these amazing cosmic energies. Before I get started, I do want to let you know that registration is open for the next beginner's astrology class that I'm having. I only hold this class twice a year, so you're not going to see it again until later in 2025. All of my classes are personalized using your birth chart and the lesson plans in the homework assignments. I offer unlimited email support to my students and I am your only teacher, so you are learning from me directly. You also get the benefit of recordings if you're unable to attend the Zoom classes live. So please consider registering for this class so I can welcome you officially into my astrology family and make you fall in love with this amazing language of the soul. Go to insightfulastrology.com to take your spot and get $50 off of your tuition because right now the early bird registration rate is available. Okay, so let's talk about your career. You have been in such a growth spurt, Leo. Now, I know the chaos has been there. I know it's been opportunity and where did it go? And, you know, you think you're going this way and then all of a sudden the universe took you this way and you're pivoting all the time with career. Well, this month there is this major big added blessing, added benefit, added curveball, but it is a positive one. There is a new moon at the top of your chart on May 7th, and this new moon is not your average new moon because half of the sky is going to be in your 10th house at this time, Leo. So you've got the sun, the moon, Venus, Jupiter, and Uranus, five planets, and both of the benefic planets, Venus and Jupiter, are here. This is magnificent. This is a new opportunity. You are going to have a major opportunity, Leo, even if you don't see it, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about. We have Uranus still influencing your 10th house, so it's going to be sudden, random, just when you think you're going in one way. Again, a different opportunity is coming your way. Go with it. It's exciting. It's amazing. And this also is going to bring you money because Venus will make an exact conjunction to Uranus on the 18th, the same day that the sun makes an exact conjunction to Jupiter, all in the 10th house. Luck, 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 blessings, 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 money, money, money. I cannot make it any more clear cut, Leo. It's just all there for you, okay? So aside from that amazing 10th house energy, as we get to later on in the month, there will be a switch, okay? So There is going to be a full moon in your fifth house of children and romance on the 23rd. And that could bring a transition in this area of your life. Maybe you find out you're having a baby. Maybe you hear news about one of your children. Maybe there is a transition in your love life where you're either leaving a romantic relationship or you're falling in love with someone that you're dating. This could also be a big creative project that's ready to be launched. Then on the 25th, This is super exciting. Okay, so don't be sad. Jupiter is going to leave your 10th house on the 25th. But I really don't want you to think that you're not going to have any career opportunities or blessings and that now that it's just Uranus there, it's going to be total chaos. No, I really need you to put this in perspective and understand that from now until the next year, so one full year, Jupiter might be leaving your 10th house but Jupiter is going into your 11th house. And the 11th house is the house of acquisition. It is blessings. It It is your greatest hopes, wishes, dreams. When Jupiter, the greater benefic, is in one of the luckiest places in your birth chart, this is good fortune coming your way, okay? And most likely, it is coming your way through your social connections. Your friends definitely want to benefit you now, but it's not just friends. Open up your social network and expand it in multiple directions because in the sign of Gemini, it is like, don't just join one group, join two groups. Don't just go out with one friend on a weekend, go out with multiple friends, okay? Do not limit yourself socially because in Gemini, it is this multiple opportunity energy where bigger can be better sometimes and more 
um, quantity in this case can bless you. So the, the quantity of people that want to help you is increasing exponentially. It's like you have a fan club. Oh, this is probably music to a Leo's ears, right? I, I, that's how I'm seeing it, actually. It's like you have a fan club. All of a sudden, you've got all these people that are cheering you on and want to help you somehow, and you do not want to waste this energy. It is just remarkable. So use it. It is also a time when you might feel a greater responsibility to do something that affects humanity that is more charitable and if you do uh, feel that go for it honor it. it it will bless you you know the kindness you give to others will come back to you it always does but right now there's an ability that you have to affect a greater change if that is something that you're inspired to do okay so leo great month for you really exciting let me know in the comments how it's all working out for you and how you're going to use this delicious energy because it truly is amazing all right i will talk to you next month bye